respected Vice Chancellor of Kotorobala Defense University, Major General Melinda Paris, distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen present here, very good morning. At the outset, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the Vice Chancellor and the management body of KDU for inviting me in this prestigious institute for this two, long semin two days long seminar. I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank Brigadier Wadu Gatpatia for constantly maintaining liaison with me while I was in Bangladesh being invited. He actually showed me different ways and coordinated me in such a way that I didn't face any difficulties. Uh, there was only one problem. I did not have my luggage with me. It was lost, but not his fault. That was the airline's fault. But with his initiative, I got it back soon after a day. May I also take this opportunity to welcome all this distinguished audience, the participants here for the seminar, which titled National Security Strategy and Military Development. It is indeed a greater pleasure and opportunity for me for having the honor to share such an important session. The subject of this discussion is of great importance for any country with whatever level of security situation they possess. The session will have five speakers, four speakers. Each will have 12 minutes time, and there will be an open forum for about 15 minutes, and finally, I'll conclude the session. Dear audience, the concept and meaning of national security has undergone tremendous changes in recent times. The traditional definition of national security during the Cold War was the protection of the states and its vital interest from attack by the other states. In the 90s, after the end of Cold War, security concerns had been broadly shifted to individual and community levels rather than the state. Considering the vulnerable situations of world population, while the traditional sources of insecurities are still there and no way posing lesser threats in terms of undermining national values, sovereignty, and territorial integrity of a nation state, new threats mostly emanating from domestic sources are also severely impacting national security of a country in contemporary times. This transformation has necessitated that the policy makers and decision makers to adopt a holistic approach in identifying and defining parameters and goals of national security and chart out the strategies to achieve them. Hence lies the importance of devising a national security strategy. In general, the strategy articulates, as known to most of you, ends and then lead links with the means and ways in a plan of action designed to achieve these ends in a given context. The strategy may also indicate the relative priority of each desired end. Devising a national security strategy, therefore, can be delineated as art and science of developing and applying and coordinating the instrument of national power such as diplomatic, economic, military, psychological, and informational power to achieve objectives that contribute to national security. National security strategy and the military, therefore, complementary to each other, contributing and sustaining each other's development to ensure and ascertain national security of a particular country. The national security strategy provides the shared vision to the military in terms of clearly defining the goals and objectives of a national security, help locating military's contribution in the broader context of the national security efforts of the government, confirm its priorities, and clarify internal roles and missions as well as approaches and ways and means to achieve them. Over the past few decades, the linkage between national security and military development have increased significantly. This change is particularly due to the increasing acceptance of the idea that military development will bring peace and stability. The basic roles of armed forces in the context of national security are to detect, deter, prevent, or, if necessary, defeat external threats or aggressors to the nation. Second, be prepared to respond to catastrophic incidents as appropriate or as directed. And finally, 
integrate and operate with national and international partners to achieve unity of effort. Studies have shown that by ensuring its military development, first world countries have ensured better national security environment than the countries falling behind doing so. Participating in UN mission is also considered an another dimension of military development. In short, I'd like to say that there, despite having great debate, the importance of military development as a national security strategy will remain as an important factor of, especially for the underdeveloped countries. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, with this note, I'd like to start uh, the session. First of this session, the speaker is Major General Prasanna De Silva. Uh, he's going to speak on the topic, doctrine for land, uh, doc, the land doctrine for Sri Lanka in anticipation of future threats to the national security of Sri Lanka. Major General Prasanna De Silva joined the army in on 24 May in 1982 as an officer cadet and was commissioned as a second lieutenant on January 1984 in the 1st Battalion Sri Lanka Light Infantry in 1997. After doing a tenure as a course officer in Sri Lankan Military Academy, he joined Special Forces, then the RDF. Due to his exceptionally unique performance in many daunting operations in defense of the country have been well recognized as a battlefield veteran and decorated with gallantry and service medals, inclusive of the Vira Vikrama Vibhushana twice, Rana Vikrama Singhre Padakma thrice, and Rana Sura Padakma four times. He also awarded Deshi Putra Padakma for a fatal gunshot injury that went through and through his stomach while serving as CO First Special Forces. I'm sorry, I got his CV just now, so if I find it difficult to pronounce some of the terminology, please forgive me. At present, he is commander of the Army Training Command and colonel of the regiment of Commando Regiment. He is married and blessed with two daughters. Uh, I think it's not enough to describe him. Last night I met a very, very beautiful lady and I wanted to talk to her, but she continuously was talking about him. She only speaks what he is and he's going to prove it by his presentation. Welcome, sir. 